Hello, it's almost the end of the year, so I wanted to build myself a little candle holder with an old jar. I think it was jam or something. Here is something that would remind me what I want to feel. So first, I start to cover everything with heavy gesso. I use my trusted fluffy brush so I can create texture along the way. You can use white paint as well. Everybody I would recommend better. See, I covered everything. Uh, what you don't see on camera is that I wanted to create an effect and so I took a piece of paper towel while it was still wet and I covered everything, pushed a little and took it off so some of the gesso came off. Now I'm using silk acrylic glaze and if you've been following me for a while you know my love for them. They're smooth, heavily pigmented paints so many colors in the color hub shop that you can go with you can go wrong i'm just in love with them <laughs> so you can see that some somehow some of the gesso was uh, peeling off but that's okay learning and you know i love i love using my fingers so instead of a pen brush i'm using my finger so i can use that tapping motion so i started with uh, the monarch gold which is so beautiful because of the pinkish shimmer and a coral to blend together as my, as my base so I'm applying it pretty carefully as you can see just go with it don't plan too much and have fun and remember to protect your hands before doing that. It was not on camera, but I did put a protective cream just because the pigment in paints, not necessarily these ones, but in general, always protect your hands before playing with paints. It's working. Now that all the faces are covered, I'm drying them. And I'm using a rubber stamp by Designs by Rin. They are really beautiful. And I decided to have some fun and to apply some of the silks directly on the stamp and see how it goes. We're not looking for perfection, but it will add that something. And as you can see, I'm adding several color um, on the stamp and I'm applying it several times before putting some paint again. Look at that. And it shimmers. So I repeat that on all the faces. And also vary the orient orientation of the stamp so it's not boring and all the same. I really like the effect. It makes me think of Morocco. And see the shimmer? Oh, that's just so pretty. Let it dry. Let it dry. I know we don't want to, but we need to do it. And now I'm just finishing up the top where the lid is supposed to go, but we won't use a lid. using a smaller brush to go in the creases. I, I really hope that you see how easy it is to alter something to make it something different. It doesn't have to be complicated to be good. We all like easy once in a while, don't we? And now I'm using a, a cap and a button that was probably in a kit somehow in the past 
that says epic because I want to feel when I use that jar with a candle I want to feel that everything is possible and that's it take your candle and enjoy thank you for watching bye